I just love fresh pineapple in a stir fry. I'm Tess, and I'll show you how I make my Chinese beef and pineapple stir fry. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is a stir-fry, so I'm getting everything prepped and ready before cooking. I'm starting by marinating the beef. I have about a pound of cubed or bite-sized top sirloin, and I'm adding in some light soy sauce, a little sesame oil, not much, rice wine vinegar, and cornstarch, giving that a good mix to make sure the beef is evenly coated. I'm setting the beef to the side for about 20 to 30 minutes, and that'll give me some time to get my sauce ready and veggies prepped. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. For the sauce, I have some beef broth, and you can use chicken or vegetable broth, or even some water. In goes some hoisin sauce, and you can find this at most grocery stores, at your Asian market, and I will also leave a link below where you can order it online. Hoisin sauce is thick and like a Chinese barbecue sauce. I'm adding in some light soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, a little honey, and you can use brown sugar, and a little sesame oil. I'm also adding in some garlic chili sauce, and you can't forget the minced garlic and ginger. We got a lot of flavors in there, and a good balance of salty, sweet, and hot. Finally, adding in some cornstarch for a thickener, giving that a good mix and setting to the side. I have my vegetables all prepped and ready, and we are ready to cook. You can use any pan for this stir-fry. Tonight, I'm using my wok. My wok is on high heat. I'm adding in some oil and the beef. I'm letting the beef cook for about 15 to 20 seconds before stirring. This is going to prevent sticking. Cooking and stirring for about 3 to 5 minutes or until done, and then removing the beef from the wok. The time depends on the size of the beef. You will see the beef get a nice crust and caramelization, and this is a lot of flavor. For the vegetables, I'm using some onions and bell peppers, but you can use whatever veggies you like. This stir-fry is also really good with zucchini, carrots, celery, snow peas, or whatever you might have on hand. I have my heat on high, and I'm adding in a little more oil. Cooking and stirring the onions and bell peppers for about two to three minutes. Now the star of the show, the fresh pineapple. You can use canned pineapple if you wish, but for me, it just does not taste the same. It's good, but not the same. Using fresh pineapple in a stir-fry really brings out those natural pineapple sugars and adds a nice balance to the salty and heat. Cooking and stirring for another couple of minutes. Adding the beef and all the juices back into the wok and giving it a good stir. In goes my sauce, and make sure you give the sauce a good stir before adding. Cooking and stirring for a minute so the flavors combine. The sauce will thicken and form this beautiful glaze over the beef, pineapple, and veggies. This smells so good, and it's time to eat. Serving tonight with some jasmine rice and garnishing with some green onions. This has to be one of my favorite Chinese stir-fries, and I make it quite often. You can also make this with chicken or even tofu if you want to keep it vegetarian. I hope you give this delicious Chinese stir-fry a try. If you like this Chinese beef and pineapple stir-fry, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love. <music>